Well, this week was one of the more tumultuous in recent Australian political history. On Tuesday, the Albanese government, in a surprise move, threatened to abandon pursuing religious freedom if they didn't receive bipartisan support. At that point, the opposition hadn't even seen the bill, so how were they supposed to support it? On Thursday, after the opposition had finally been briefed on the bill, Senator Michaelia Cash, the Shadow Attorney General, took me through some of its contents, and it doesn't look good. As many of you are aware, we have been waiting for the final report from the Australian Law Reform Commission, who are looking into how to balance sexual and religious discrimination. The report is unsurprising. It favours sexuality over religious beliefs and recommends a complete removal of existing protections for Christian schools in their hiring policies. If the Labor government adopted these recommendations, it would be the end of Christian schooling in Australia as we know it. We are grateful for the pause in the progression of a religious discrimination bill, knowing that at this stage, it is likely to do more harm than good. Please continue to pray for God's will to be done. In New South Wales, the Conversion Practices Ban Bill has passed just over a week after it was tabled in Parliament. ACL advocated for an inquiry to address concerns regarding gender transition therapy, given mounting evidence of its harm, but this was blocked by Labor Greens, 21 votes to 20 along with any amendments that sought imprudence to omit gender identity from the bill. Although this bill passed unchanged, with more evidence being unveiled day by day, revealing the harms of so-called gender affirmation, it will not be long before the issue is back in the chamber and is being reversed. In Queensland this week, MP Robbie Catter introduced the Termination of Pregnancy Live Births Amendment Bill 2024 to ensure equal medical care for all newborn babies, addressing the serious injustice of babies who survive abortions being treated differently to other live births. Please join us in advocating for the bipartisan support from the Queensland Parliament to pass this essential bill. And finally, it's election day in Tasmania tomorrow, so let's pray together for all candidates standing for righteousness and all who are voting. Saturday's outcome is crucial for the state's future, especially for parental rights and the protection of vulnerable kids. Stay tuned to the TAS Votes website for more updates. This week, as ACL has been engaged in various battles around the nation, I've been particularly encouraged by David's statement in the Bible. As he stood before Goliath, he said, the battle is the Lord's. I'm encouraged that as we pray and act, we open up ourselves to be used by God who fights through us according to his strength and wisdom, not ours. Thank you. God bless and see you next week.